Ten English phrases for remembering, reminding, and forgetting from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, I remember. There are a number of ways to use I remember. I remember plus ing form of the verb. I remember spending every summer at camp when I was a child. I remember plus person or thing. I remember him. We met at a conference last year. I remember that TV show. I used to watch it all the time. I remember plus that plus subject plus verb. I was going to make hamburgers, but then I remembered that she doesn't eat meat, so I made a salad instead. Number two, I'll never forget. I'll always remember. Use these phrases for people, things, or experiences that were so strong that they will never leave your memory. Number three, if I remember correctly, as far as I can recall, use these phrases if you are not one hundred percent certain that what you remember is correct and you want to communicate this small uncertainty. Number four. I have a vague recollection of. Use this phrase when you remember something, but not very well. For example, you remember the general experience a little bit, but not the details. Number five. It's on the tip of my tongue. Use this phrase when you are trying to remember something, usually a word or a person's name, but you can't quite say it yet. This expression is often used to get a few more moments to remember the word or name you're trying to think of. Number six, my mind went blank. Use this phrase to describe a moment when you couldn't remember or think of anything. It's common for people's minds to go blank during moments of pressure, like tests and presentations. Number seven, it doesn't ring a bell. Use this phrase when someone asks you if you've heard of something, and you want to say that you don't know about it or don't remember it. For example, if your colleague says, "Do you know Michael Smith? He works in our London office," and you don't remember him or haven't heard of him, you could say, "No, the name doesn't ring a bell." Number eight. I'd like to remind you about. I'd like to remind you to. This is a diplomatic way to remind somebody about something so that the other person doesn't forget. I'd like to remind you about is followed by a noun. For example, I'd like to remind you about your dentist appointment tomorrow. I'd like to remind you to. Is followed by a verb. For example, I'd like to remind you to send me the information by Friday. Number nine. You haven't forgotten about, have you? I hope you haven't forgotten about. Use these phrases to check if someone has remembered or forgotten about something. Again, use about with nouns. And two with verbs. You haven't forgotten to do your homework, have you? You haven't forgotten about the test, have you? I hope you haven't forgotten to pay the bill. I hope you haven't forgotten about our meeting this afternoon. Number ten. It completely slipped my mind. Use this phrase after you completely forgot to do something. You didn't remember or think of it at all. I hope you haven't forgotten to pay the bill. Oh no! It completely slipped my mind. I'll pay it first thing tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.